Hi, and welcome to a new episode of Orange Line. I'm your host, Rena Murphy. First up, Danny Harris talked to Susan Emmel about the speech choir and their performance for National Day of Silence. April 16th marked the 14th annual National Day of Silence. Recognized by campuses across the nation, National Day of Silence is a protest to the bullying of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. This year, members of Baker's Speech Choir performed an edited version of the Laramie Project along with Dr. Wendy Bourne, Dr. Tracy Floriani, and Professor Russell Taylor to help the Gay Straight Alliance group recognize the National Day of Silence. Matthew Shepard was beaten and left to die, tied to a fence on the outskirts of Laramie, Wyoming for being gay. Professor Russell Taylor wrote the script to fit the needs of Speech Choir. Towards the beginning of the year, um, Dr. Emmel mentioned that we would be participating in a um, speech choir event for the GSA, and I thought it would be, I've always wanted to try writing one of the speech choir scripts. Um, since I assist with the speech choir and coach the forensics team, I thought it would be an interesting thing to do one day is actually write one of the scripts, and when this one came about, I thought this is the perfect one for me to do. Um, not only because I, I am very passionate about the topic, but also as a gay man, it, I thought it was a very important one for me to add my voice to, that someone else may not have had the same viewpoint on. Speech choir member Darcy Nance was happy to do the performance. I am excited about it. It's a really moving script. It's, um, it's very emotional, and I think people see it like, they'll be able to maybe put themselves in a different position or, or think about something from a different point of view that they haven't before. And um, it's entertaining and I would really, I hope everyone, a lot of people come to watch it in the Union. So. The earth curving its shadow. Many students the watched the performance and the crowd response was positive. When the trees and air and sky are singing and life will begin in the roses opening. I think it went really well. There's something amazing about the actual performance. No matter how rough it can be in rehearsals, once you actually get to the actual performance, people sort of get engaged by the energy and the crowd, and it always goes off so much better than you imagine it will. But not Matt. Speech All choir members stage, performing were Darcy Nance, Aaron Shoper, Sadie Schlapper, Warren Swenson, and, and Olivia Hernandez. You plant the seeds in the cracks, and you pray for rain, and you teach your sons and daughters that there are sharks in the waters, but the only way to survive This has been Danny Harris, KMU TV. Thanks for that, Danny. Up next, I have a story about Active Minds and National Stress Out Week. Active Minds is a national collegiate organization that works towards lowering the stigma surrounding mental illness. There are 250 Active Mind chapters throughout the country. Sophomore Meredith Hodges led the way in opening the Baker chapter. I went on the internet, went on activeminds.org and looked up all the information and I did all the paperwork. It was quite a process, but I did it and we are the 244th chapter and we are the very first in the state of Kansas. So that's pretty cool. One of Meredith's inspirations to starting the organization was the background story from the actual founder of Active Minds. Active Minds was founded by a girl named Allison Melman. Um, back in 2000, her older brother, Brian, he committed suicide. And during the time, um, it was really taboo for teens to seek help for anything like that. So she had no idea he was struggling, and it just happened out of the blue. And so she decided to start this, and any proceeds that we get go to his foundation. And I think it's just really neat. Like, I think this is something that should be on every campus. Tim Hodges, director of the Baker Counseling Center and advisor to Active Minds, will assist the group in educating students about mental health issues. It's an educational organization, and uh, so we'll get a lot of information out regarding uh, mental disorders on campus. About 40% of all college students have a diagnosable mental disorder at some point in their college career, and about half of all college students get stressed out and depressed to the point of being uh, unable to function and so it's a big deal and uh, yet only one out of six uh, college students who struggle with depression or anxiety actually talk to a counselor about it and we think a lot of that is because of the stigma associated with mental health issues. With finals quickly approaching many students tend to get stressed out this time of year. Active Minds put together a stress out week, which consists of several events. So we've got recess on Monday afternoon at 3.30. 
So we'll have Foursquare and Red Rover and Frisbee and all kinds of other things that students can do, just cut loose and have fun. Uh, and then Wednesday we have Scream Fest, and so students can come out uh, at 8.30 Wednesday night and scream all together. Just cut loose and be silly for a minute or two. And then Friday we're having a pillow fight. This semester, the group set up tables in the union where students could send postcards to themselves or friends to give support and say positive things to relieve stress. The group has similar and bigger plans set out for the next semester. Coming up next year, we'll be doing a lot of stuff with Mental Health Awareness Week in the fall. And so one day we'll be um, Stop the Stigma uh, Day, and uh, we'll be doing a lot associated with depression and suicide awareness. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for college students, and about 1,100 college students commit suicide each year. To find out more information about Active Minds, they have a Facebook group that students can join or get in contact with any member of the organization on campus. I'm Raina Murphy reporting for KMBU-TV. So don't stress out this week, and if you do, then check out some of Active Minds events. Also this week, SAC is holding their annual Spring Fest week on campus. Special events like Monday's Game Show Night and Tuesday's Movie on the Lawn featuring Avatar were planned months in advance. So it's been about five months that we've been planning. Um, we've known the date for about a year now. And we just tried to get five different days of completely different acts um, and tried to get kind of one from all the different areas that our council has. Wednesday features a sex comedy show followed by Thursday's stand-up comedy act by Ryan Reese. In the past, it hasn't been as wonderful as we would like it to be, but we're hoping with this year, with how many different things we have and with how much promotions um, and how much effort we've put into it, that really students will get out on campus and come to all the different events. All events start at 9 p.m. Stay tuned, because after the commercial, we'll tell you which Baker soccer player is going pro.